Allison, Daniel is not looking good. That's because he is bleeding out Jenny. We will need to clamp this artery. Got it. Time to floor it Joe. This won't hold by itself, I'll need to place a ligature. Jenny, get me the kit. Daniel hasn't got much time left. Jenny, can you hurry up and get a kit, please? Just collect yourself and get me the items from the kit. You can do this. Concentrate. The ligature is holding, but he's still losing blood somewhere. I need you to survive for me Daniel. Help me undo his straps. There it is, you hold him stead and I'll stitch the wound. He is stabilizing. And we're close to the hospital, he might just be okay. I really hope so, I, I just can't lose him now. No, you're right. I think he might just be okay. Allison, Jenny, hold on! A little to the left. I'll say when to stop. Hey Daniel. Allison. I heard you were back. You excited about finally interning at the surgery department? Excited and scared. Nonsense. You've got nothing to be scared of. Uh, don't worry, I'm okay. I'm just going to take a nap. I'm sorry, Allison, but if I don't keep working, this renovation might be the end of me. No problem, I need to be in surgery anyway. Hey Dr. Quinn, my name. Why did they send me to interns? This is not going to work. I can only train one intern at a time. One of you is going to have to go. Well, it's not going to be me. Oh, but, I kinda thought. Okay, 
so it's been decided. But, but what do I do now? You can talk to Michael at the ward, he's always in need of more interns. And that's pretty much how everything works here at the ward. Exciting, isn't it? Let me guess, Quinn sent you? I might be able to take on another intern, but you're pretty late. I, I'm really sorry, I thought I was assigned to surgery. Hum, I could explain everything again. Jenny, you were here on time, do you mind a little deja vu? No, I love instructions. That's really nice of you, Jenny. So, do you need to know how everything works? Thank you, I could really use some instruction. Jenny, why don't you explain it to Allison? Great. First, a patient will enter and sit down in the waiting area, try to get their attention. Next you will have to tell the patient where they need to go. After that, you have to treat them. Some patients require more than one treatment. Some treatments require items or tools which you have to pick up first, and only then, are you able to perform the treatment. This is so cool. And over there you can check them out. Great work, Jenny. Oh no, looks like Ruth's guinea pig Oliver escaped again. Let's see if we can catch him. Got him. Allison, are you paying attention? Two more things. Some treatments are more complex and require a precision task, but I'll explain this further when they happen, and helping patients quickly with the right treatment will increase their health. Remember, leave them too long and I'll have to step in, and that's all you need to know. I think I'll get the hang of it. I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let's get started. And I'm done. What a day. Alison, these are the dirty sheets from all the wards. You mind giving them a wash? Sure. train one in turn. Oh, I don't mind, you just take the one surgery internship there is. Allison, why don't you just wash all the sheets in this hospital? Sure, seems like fun. I'm such a loser. Just, um, showing Jenny where to find her, um, disinfectant, yeah. So, yeah, Jenny, now you, know. I know this isn't your favorite place in the world, Earl, but at least the sun is shining. You know the sun will give you skin cancer, right? Sure, but that would give you something new to complain about. Alison, maybe Alison can cheer you up. Um, I don't like brunettes. 
I find them aggravating. Good luck. Hey, girl, do you need anything? Yes, I need not be in the hospital. I can't really change that, but I could get you a glass of water. Water? What am I? A plant? Is the temperature in here always set to devil's waiting room? Um, it is pretty warm. I can try to set the thermostat a little lower. Try? How about you just do it? Ua, I read that book too. Do you like it? It's incredible. Incredible what passes for writing these days. Utter garbage. Could you stop walking around so much? Um, my job requires me to walk around. Sure, just ignore my requests. I'm freezing. Can you turn the thermostat up? First you're too hot, now you're too cold. A person could change his mind, can he? By the way, shouldn't I have gotten some form of medication by now? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I've got the medication. With this whole renovation, several orders have gotten mixed up, so it took a little longer. So I almost died of old age here. Because you- I dare you to finish that sentence. Alison. Ruth, I'm so happy to see you. I heard what happened with Quinn, dear. Not really what you were hoping for on your first day back? I don't know Ruth, maybe I just wasn't ready for surgery. Oh, shut the front door. You are just as good as that brat Mason, and Quinn is an idiot for not picking you. Come to think of it, all the men in this hospital could use a brain transplant. Thanks Ruth, I need that. Just speaking the truth, dear, now let's get some food in you. Emily, what are you doing here? Well, I came for Paige's checkup and somehow ended up running the canteen. It's odd, it seems like everywhere I go, people are in desperate need of a chef. Well, that's good news for us, that means the hospital food is going to get a lot better. If you can come back in a few minutes, I'll prepare something for you. Back to the pharmacy now, but remember Allison, don't let anyone get you down. Especially these jokers. Well, um, yes, you can just drop it off over here. Um, Daniel, what's happening? I was kinda sorta hoping we could store a couple of things for the renovation here. Um, but doesn't that interfere with our patients? It might, 
a little, but you would really, really, really help me out of a bind. Okay, if you've talked this through with Michael. Thanks Allison, you're amazing. What's that for? For helping out today. This renovation hasn't been going well. And it's nice to have a little help instead of just complaints. Well, thank you. This renovation is really important to you, isn't it? You know I became the head of the hospital because of my father, right? This is my way of stepping up and showing people I'm just as capable, if not more capable than my father. And I'm not going to let a few negative voices stop me from making this the best hospital in the world. Even if that means I have to renovate it myself. Well, you've got my help now. That's true, but you also have an internship you have to finish, so I'll use that help sparingly. suspiciously happy. I know, it was this thing Daniel said yesterday. He talked about not letting negative voices influence him, and I guess that stuck in my mind. Talking about negative voices. I hope he doesn't give you too much trouble, but Earl's blood pressure needs to be checked every minute or so today. Don't worry, I'm just going to kill him with kindness. You kill me now? Because I'm already done with this happy nonsense. Yeah. Pointless. You done yet? Useless. Can you be any slower? Speed isn't one of your strong suits, is it? This is taking forever. Don't worry on my account. Oh no, this isn't happening. Well, at least you can make it over here quickly when my life is in danger. What? Are you insane? I thought you were dying, Earl. Ah, uh, why? I've been nothing but nice to you today. And you've been spewing insult after insult. What did I ever do to you? Oh, so now you have nothing to say. I'm not falling for that again, Earl. Earl? Earl? 